Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another AutoCAD tip, courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. And happy holidays, wherever you are. I hope you're having a good holiday season. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about copying and pasting, right? Something that we do all the time. Uh, those of us who are newer to AutoCAD probably do more copying and pasting than those who've been using AutoCAD for a long time. But let me just make sure that you know all the ins and outs and all the tricks when it comes to copying and pasting. So let's say I want to take this awesome block, which I have on here, of a car, and I want to paste it into another drawing. So I would highlight the car, notice where the insertion point is. I would do a control C, right, for copy. And then I would pretend I'm in another drawing now, and I could do control V. Now you'll notice that the insertion point that it's displaying on the screen is not the actual insertion point for the car just kind of the lower left-hand corner of the object. Ah, that's no good. Now, while I'm right here, if I want to, I can type in a B for base, base point, which isn't intuitively obvious. It doesn't show up as an option. And I can modify the insertion point. Maybe I'll just pick it right in the middle. And then I can make changes before I paste it so I can make sure I get it in exactly the right location. So that's one option that has to do with copying and pasting, right? So the other one, you have to be a little bit more coordinated for the other one, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select my car one more time. And I'm gonna do shift control C. You can't see me, or you're just gonna to have to believe me. And at that point in time, it's going to ask me to change, if I wanna change the insertion point. And you know, maybe I want it to be where the original insertion point is on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up there. And now when I do a paste, you'll see that the insertion point that I indicated is the one that it uses. So that's another option for you. That's a shift <laughs> control and a C to make that copy. Like I said, you do have to be coordinated. <laughs> so, all right, so hey, there's a little holiday treat for you all about copying and pasting. And like I said, I could of course drop those blocks of a car into another drawing very easily. It doesn't have to be a block, but that's what I chose to share with you today. All right, so have a great rest of the week and I'll see you back here in two more weeks.